السلام عليكم my name is Abdullah Zishan Khan السلام عليكم my name is Fatima Zishan Khan Abdullah Bar I have a question for you yes what is it Fatima and what are the 10 best days of the year according to the Quran and Hadith the best Hindis according to the Quran and Hadith are the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah uh, and did you know, Fatma, that there is a hadith in Tirmidhi that I'm just going to tell the meaning that it says that the good deeds performed in the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah are more superior than good deeds performed in other times of the year. Did you know, Fatma, that it is a sunnah to recite the takbirat from the first day of Dhul Hijjah till the 13th day of Dhul Hijjah. And deliver what are takbirat? The takbirat are Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Walillahi alhamd, Allah Akbar kabira, Walhamdulillahi kathira, فسبحان الله بكرة وأسيلا الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد Alright, can you please tell me what good deeds should perform in these 10 days? The good deeds you should perform in these 10 days, Fatma are uh, read Quran and most importantly understand the Quran read Salah and uh, fast if you can and uh, uh, you should say salam and offer food and uh, there's a hadith that it means that you should respect your elders and you should show kindness to your younger ones and you should help your family and some people of outside Fatma. Do you know anything about Hajj? Yes, Abdullah Bay. I know that Hajj is the fifth pillar of Islam. Mashallah. Very good, Fatma. And did you know, Fatma, that it is obligatory for every adult Muslim who can afford to go in for Hajj to perform Hajj? And did you know, Fatma, Hajj, the Hajj days are from 8 Dhul Hijjah till 13th Dhul Hijjah. Every day has a name. The name of the 8th day of Dhul Hijjah is Yawm Uttadya, which means the day of fetching water and quenching thirst. The day of 9th Dhul Hijjah is Yawm Al Arafa, which means the day of Arafa. And did you know Fatma that there is a hadith which it means that Hajj is Arafah. The pilgrims stand and make dua and ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at Arafah. And the 10th day of Dhul Hijjah is called Yawm al -Nahar. At this day, that means it's the sacrifice. And at this day, the Muslims celebrate Eid and sacrifice the animal. Can you please tell me a sunnah act on Eid al-Adha? The sunnah act you should do on Eid al-Adha are waking up early in the morning and taking a bath, brushing your teeth with a miswak or toothbrush, putting on your best clothes, putting it on and Fatima. On Eid al-Adha we should eat after the Eid prayer and after the sacrifice of the animal. The first thing we should eat is the meat of the sacrificial animal. Did you know Fatma, Islam teaches us to be kind with every living thing that includes animals. So when uh, Eid al-Adha comes, we should uh, buy the animal and give it enough water, food and shelter. And when we are going to sacrifice it, we should tell the butcher to use the sharpest knife possible and tell him not to sharpen the knife in front of the animal for it might get scared and also not sacrifice one animal in front of another animal again 
the animal might get scared. Subhanallah. And and Fatma, the eleventh, twelfth, and thirteenth days and three following days of Eid al-Adha are called Ayyam Tashriq, which means the days of eating, drinking, and remembering of Allah. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.